and welcome. Thanks for joining us. Interleague Baseball on MLB The Show. It's the Philadelphia Phillies taking on the New York Yankees. And we'll be back with the first pitch right after this. So just about set now, and today's starting pitcher, Nestor Cortez Jr. It's always interesting to see how he utilizes all of his pitches and how many of those he has a good feel for on that given day. When he's right, he's really able to keep hitters guessing, and all of his stuff seems to be coming out of the same arm slot, the same tunnel, and that can make life very difficult on his opponents. And digging in for Philadelphia, Trey Turner. And a pitch. Foul ball. Next pitch oh, off the play. One ball, one strike. And he deals. That misses off the outside edge. Back-to-back -back breaking pitches away, you get the feeling as a hitter that the pitcher's afraid of you, that he doesn't want to challenge you. So I think the confidence level is raised right here. Two and one now. That clips the corner. of the pitch still two and two after the foul ball and the pitch foul ball another two two upcoming the pitch Boils that one and it remains two and two. The pitch. Fouled off the plate. They'll do it again. Also really good at bat. What I like about this guy, his bat stays in the zone for a long time. Gives him the ability to foul off tough pitches. And a pitch. Swing and a high fly ball to left. Puts the squeeze on it, and there's one away. And time now for the Phillies lineup. Chris, this is a lineup offensively that could be really good for years to come. Well, there's a lot of young talent in this lineup. I think as they gel together, gain some maturity over the course of this season, they could be playing October baseball. And now it's Alec Bohm. And first offering is fouled off. One down, base is empty. That one misses. One and one. Just missed. Well, he's so great about hitting the ball the other way. He gets those arms extended. So right there, just trying to straighten him up a little bit so he doesn't have as much outside plate coverage. Fouls one away and now three and two. And here it comes. In the air, left side. Cabrera has a beat on it. He makes the grab. Two up, two down. That is third. The center fielder. Two outs, base is empty. Now here is Brandon Jordan. He's a guy who does it all. Cortez, an all-star a season ago. He features a four-seam fastball, a cutter, 
a slider, a changeup, and he works in a two-seamer. No score just getting started, top of the first. Hey. Next offering is in for a strike. Good eye right Whoa. there. The 2 1. And a foul ball. Two two now. That to right. Judge is there. Makes the catch. And that's the inning. We head to the bottom of the first. And now the Yankees will see what they can do. No score. Welcome back. And on the hill, Taiwan Walker. What do you look for here? Yeah, very respectable numbers last year. A sub-350 ERA. And, you know, guys like that, you may think, well, they're elite pitchers that are pitching sub-twos. They're dominating. But when you can have that kind of consistency, you know you have a chance to win the ball game every time he takes the mound. So, you know, good season last year. Opportunity for him to go out there and repeat it this year, possibly even improve. But I tell you what, if this guy's pitching for me and I'm playing in the outfield, I'm loving every minute of it. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stands in now and watches strike one. The pitch. Ball. Line drive, base hit. Just a cookie down the middle. I mean, those are the ones you dream about. Once in the cage, you're just hoping you get in the ball game. Right down the middle, not a whole lot of velocity, right on top of it. And now it's DJ LeMayhew digging in. Good contact guy, good defender. Checks over to first, back safely. Another throw over. Yeah, they're keeping him close. First offering is fouled off. Connor Falefa aboard here at first with nobody out. Next offering is in for a strike. Singing some numbers fun with Taiwan Walker, originally drafted by the Mariners. His number was 44. That was his favorite number growing up. When he got traded to the Diamondbacks, that was Paul Goldschmidt's number. Switched to 99 when he moved. Turner racing over to make the catch. As we take a look now at the New York Yankees lineup. This is a veteran-led lineup right here. A lot of players with plenty of experience singing. Yeah, no doubt about that, Boog. These guys have been around the, the game for a long time, and they may not have the flash that they once did, but they've got the wisdom to be able to understand different situations, be able to think with the opponent and sometimes in front of the opponent, and you always seem to see a team like this. They come to the ballpark. They go. Walker checks over to first, and he's back. Aaron Judge, batting with one down, takes a strike. One ball, one strike. The one one. Swings through that one for strike two. Singy Taiwan Walker originally drafted in the first round by the Mariners. Back over to first, and he saved. Hey. 
Judge rips that one. And no one can get there. Connor Falefa, round second on his way to third. Connor Falefa coming home. He'll score easily. And it's 1-0. Really nice job of two-strike hitting and that at bat. Nice job of driving that pitch the other way on a line. You know, hitters, they take so many reps in the cages working on going to the opposite field, and it doesn't always translate into the game, but right there it did, and he did it perfectly. One out, runner at second. So now the Yankees cleanup hitter, Giancarlo Stanton. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First offering, misses the mark. And that's in for a strike. John Carlos Stanton, who won the National League MVP in 2017 and then was traded immediately to the New York Yankees. Yeah, the last two players to win the MVP and then be traded were both traded to the New York Yankees. Alex Rodriguez, Giancarlo Stanton. That's Next pitch in. misses. The count now two and two. Chris, and remember, Giancarlo Stanton won the 2016 Home Run Derby at Petco Park. Yeah, he made that place look like a wiffle ball field. Next offering way off the plate. Runner at second here, one gone. Struck him out looking. Wow, that's a tough call for the hitter, but the pitcher will take that all day long. Not quite in the strike zone, but he found a spot that the umpire is going to, at least for now, allow him to get that call. So hitters are going to have to make an adjustment, but pitchers are going to learn from those things and really try to exploit them if they can. Anthony Rizzo steps to the plate. Hit hard, that gets through. Here comes the judge around third. He will score, and they take a two-run lead. Well, Singy, he is locked in there. Well, he's really slowed the game down, and it's like he's moving in full speed, and everybody is a step or two behind. The way that he squared up that baseball tells me that he is seeing it like a beach ball. Here's Glaber Torres. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Torres, a guy the Yankees acquired for Aroldis Chapman back in 2016. He is fearless. You can't tell if he's been in this league for eight years or two years. And the righty deals. Edge of the zone for a strike, and it's a ball to strike. He's given up a couple of runs, but the pitch count really not as high as you would think. Might be able to get through this one under 25 pitches. Whoa. Next offering upstairs. Swings through that one. From a pitcher's perspective, that's a beautiful splitter right there. As a hitter, you don't like it, but he's commanded his fastball, and out of that same tunnel, that splitter comes, and the bottom just falls out of it. Kicks and fires. This one in the dirt. Fires over to Hoskins. And Glaber Torres retired. And that is the third out of the inning. But two runs for him, and they jump ahead. Second inning coming up in the Bronx. It's the Yankees two and the Phillies nothing. All set for the start of the Number inning. And now here is Harper. Number three, Bryce Harper. Well, after putting up a nice inning on offense, got some runs across, this is where you look for the starter to go out there, have a shutdown inning. Don't give that other team any hope. Uh, you just hope that he can get through this inning, get the bats back up there while they're hot. And now the lefty. That one hit to right. Judge has it sized up. And puts the squeeze on that. One down. And it's Reese Hoskins up to the dish. The outfield playing him to pull with the center fielder positioned in that left center field gap. That one fouled off. The wind of the pitch. Popped up. And it drops in. 
So they get a man aboard with a one out single. Anything but pretty right there, but he'll take it every time. Flared it out there and got it to drop for the base hit. I think he got it off the handle just a little bit, but the bat held up for him enough to get something behind that swing. Here's Nicholas Castellanos, and he swings and misses at the initial offering. Hoskins over at first with one away. On the ground, could be two. Over to Torres. Over to first, but he beats it. Well, he didn't recognize changeup earlier enough. Got out in front a little bit, rolled over on it, and beat it into the ground. JT, JT Real Muto singing has turned into arguably the top catcher in all of baseball. He's won multiple gold gloves, multiple silver sluggers, same story, multiple times an all-star. This guy is fun to watch. JT Real Muto in the box now, no balls and a strike. A tremendous athlete behind the dish, and this is a guy that probably could play any position on the infield if they needed to, as well as the outfield. He's got great speed as a catcher, can steal some bases, can drive in runs, but most importantly, he takes that pitching staff where they need to go. And one and two. Bounce to the left side. Can't field it cleanly to first, and he beats it. Everyone's safe. Man, he just absolutely turned on that one, ripped it down the line. Nice job of staying in his mechanics. First and second with two outs. Kyle Schwarber digs in now. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Now the best way to shake off yesterday's struggles is to get on the board early. They've got a guy in scoring position. They've got to find a way here to get him in. And the 1-0. Now remember, Kyle Schwarber grew up in Ohio, and so he got a chance to watch a lot of really good Cincinnati Reds teams. His favorite players growing up were Barry Larkin and Ken Griffey Jr. That's the third. LeMahieu gets it to first. Schwarber out of the play. That's out number three. Phillies leave a couple, and they're down 2-0. Back for more from the Bronx. Bottom of the inning. And stepping in for the Yankees, Oswaldo Cabrera. The right-hander back to work. And that one is lifted in the air. Harper makes the grab. One pitch and one out. Batting it. The center field. And now Bader up to the plate. Oh, this guy's just a tremendously talented center fielder. Gold glove caliber type out there. Offensively, he can do some things, but he also has some streakiness as well. I think the key is just trying to find a way for him to be consistent day in and day out. You know, he saves runs in the outfield, so that's going to buy him more time to work things out at the dish. Right-hander kicks, deals. Here's a swing and a drive, left field, and he knew it. Harrison Bader leaves the yard, and they add to their lead. It's 3-0. Anytime you have a pitch down the middle of the plate, the percentages go up for the hitter to do damage, even if it's a pretty good sinker like that one. Nice piece of hitting there at the plate. Here's Jose Trevino. Good power. Not great in the OBP department. Next offering is down low, and it's 1-0. Now 
Ripped on the ground a second. Harrison fires over to first. Two gone. Fastball grew right down the middle. Usually a lot of damage done with that pitch. A hard grounder, but he wanted to get that ball in the air, maybe drive it into the gap. So the batting order turns over. Isaiah kiner falefa up to the plate. One for one with a single and a run scored so far. First offering and it just misses. Out towards right center field. Puts the squeeze on that one, and that'll end the inning. One scores in the inning, coming on this solo home run. It's now 3-0. You're watching Major League Baseball on the show. Back here at the ballpark, new inning getting started. Here's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. Cortez, back to work. Harrison, multi-time All-Star, hitting ninth in today's lineup. He joined the team as a free agent. The next offering misses, and that's ball one. a pitch in the air right field judge is there puts the squeeze on that one and there's one down so the Philly batting order turns over here's Trey Turner Turner measures six feet two inches a member of the 1000 hit club and he won the silver slugger at his position in the National League last year First offering, misses the mark. That's where you want it. It's a good miss. Next offering misses. Now 2-0. 2-0. Oh. Oh. And that's in for a strike. On the ground to the left. Slings it across. First two batters retired here in the top of the third. Good two-seam action right there. Running away from the batter. Rolled over it. Got the ground out. Two outs. Base is empty. Now at the plate, Alec Bohm. 0 for 1 with a fly out. Bohm in his third season. 26 years old, a former first-round pick back in 2018. Short hop liner handled it short. Over to first. Third out, and that ends the frame. Phillies go down quietly in the inning. They trail it here, 3 nothing. Back in the Bronx, set for the bottom of the third. Here's DJ LeMayhew. When you talk about elite defensive third baseman, this guy's at the top of the list. Yeah, the right hander back to work. And a foul ball. This guy plays third base like he's a shortstop, and he welcomes the difficult play. Can throw from so many different angles and makes really tough plays look very easy. In the air, left field, down the line, and that is a foul ball. So what are the skills you look for that make a really good defensive third baseman that elite? Oh, but one of the things I think about immediately are just the feet. Does he have good feet? Is he able to quickly react? And when you have good feet, you've got soft hands. And soft hand defenders are able to make tough plays look easy. And down on strikes. One out. And now big number 99, Aaron Judge doubled his first time up. 
he's not going to get cheated up there. No, he's not. He's looking to do damage with every swing he takes. In there for strike one. Well, you really couldn't ask for a better guy to be the face of the game of baseball. I mean, this is a guy that is so team first oriented, doesn't like to talk about himself, will always defer and talk about his teammates. Just impressive. Wasting no time. He's two for two now on the night and just a triple and home run away from the cycle. Seriously, we're starting with this already. Man at first with one gone. Giancarlo Stanton at the plate. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. In there in its own one. One there. Singy, we think of John Carlos Stanton with the big time power as a baseball player, but he was actually recruited to play football at USC. The next pitch misses at a count two and one. Oh, he's built like a superhero, so that doesn't surprise me at all. And one thing about him is we talk about guys like Aaron Judge, John Carlos Stanton in the same conversation in terms of exit velocity. Swing and a miss, and he was fooled. Judge, the runner at first with one gone in the inning. Hard ground ball, base down. Quick throw back in. Lead runner holds it second with one gone. Back-to-back -back singles. Back. Not much to this one other than just a willingness to go the other way and put the ball in play. It's a team at bat right there. Nice job of staying back and letting the ball get deep. And here is Anthony Rizzo. Singled and drove in a run his first time through. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Come on, go here. At the belt and fires. That one missed. Left field. He can't get there. That should be extra bases. Rizzo into second, and he's got a double. The relay to the plate, and he's out. I don't think he got a great read and or jump as he was trying to score from second on that one. Nice execution by the defense. Come up throwing, hit the relay man, and then onto the plate. Beautiful example of a well-executed play. Here is Glaber Torres. He's all for one. And that's in there for strike one. Hey, it's still early in this ball game, but you know this at bat right here could be a big factor in the outcome. You think about it. There's a chance to really blow this thing open right here. Two outs. That catches the corner. And at bat like this is almost over as it begins. In this situation, you have no idea what the next pitch is going to be. You just got to hope that you can make contact. Got him. And he's down on strikes for the second time today. Yanks strand a pair, but they lead it 3-0. Back at Yankee Stadium, out of the fourth, and now the center fielder, Brandon Jordan. For you growing up in New York City, I mean, you're a big sports fan. Tell me about your experience with the Yankees growing up. I really went to Shea Stadium more than I did to Yankee Stadium. I grew up a Phillies fan. There was one game, though, that I went to as a kid. I sat in the upper deck. It was the game that Bo Jackson hit three homers in his first three plate appearances and then hurt a shoulder diving for Deion Sanders inside the park home That's run. That's probably the most memorable game that I ever attended as a fan at Old Yankee Stadium. Now 
next pitch misses. Now two balls and a strike. Singy, four homers in 22 games at Old Yankee Stadium. What do you remember? Well, I remember my rookie year hitting two in one game. And, you know, before that game in the clubhouse, there was a gentleman there who owned a suit company there in downtown Manhattan. And he said to me, hey, kid, you hit a home run in the game tonight. Come over to the store tomorrow and I'll give you a free suit. Free suit. And there's one down. Tell you what, those are the types of guys pitchers really like to punch out when they're on the mound because if they get on, just the distraction that they create with all that speed over on the base pass, it could take away your focus from the next hitter. And that's the last thing you want to do is serve up a pitch that a guy hits over the fence, and it's a multi-run home run. And there's a foul ball. Yeah, the lefty with the 0-1. And that one is in for a strike. So I went into the game. I happened to hit two. When I walked into the store the next day, and he looked at me and said, you're trying to put me out of business, aren't you? And that was a great, <laughs> great experience that I had as a rookie playing against the Yankees playing in New York. Next one misses. Yeah, that's ball two. So did Super Joe give you two suits? Super Joe hooked me up with two suits. Got him swinging. That left-handed batter facing a left-handed pitcher that's got some sink like that at the end. It's just the bottom falls out of it. But it looks like it's going to be a pretty good pitch in that location that everyone says lefties love. Hoskins takes a ball as he stands in for the second time. Next pitch is outside, and that's ball two. Two down, nobody on. There's a strike. And another ball. And there's ball four. Boog, if I were him, I'd be nibbling around the plate as well. I mean, this guy is just capable of hitting pitches outside of the zone and driving them a long way. Nick Castellanos at the plate now. In the air, right field. And that one hops the wall. Lead runner gets the stop sign at third. It's a two-out double, second and third now. Love how he let that ball travel. He trusted his hands. Nice job of going the other way. So two on with two away. JT Real Muto steps in. Next pitch downstairs. And that's ball one. Chris, do you know what JT stands for in JT Real Muto? Of course, Boog. It's Jacob Tyler. Tying run at the plate. Sliced hard, but foul. Here's a 1-1. One -one. Breaking ball in there for a strike. Two outs, two in scoring position. Swing and a miss. Chase the fastball up the ladder for strike three. Phillies leave a couple. They trail in this one, three nothing. Four, digging in is the switch hitting outfielder Oswaldo Carrera. A wine and a pitch. And that's through there for a strike. And 
a swing and a miss. The next offering misses. Ball one. The punch out there. One away. Well, he froze him with a great fastball right on the corner. It's kind of like bowling when you think the ball's going to get into the gutter and somehow just hangs onto that edge and knocks down a pin. Well, he got the outside corner of the plate and got that called third strike. Bader batting for the second time, and that's strike one. Next offering is in for a strike. Love how oh, vocal the umpire is today. No doubt in the hitter's mind, catcher's mind, and even the pitcher's mind as to the conviction in the call. It's a good take. Righty delivers. Ball two. Still two and two after the foul ball. The pitch. I got three and two. Stays alive. You see how the catcher wanted that pitch up and in. Want to try to tie him up. That's the one thing we're seeing, that high fastball. You have to get it up there because of how hitters have changed their swings. The 3-2 is four. off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Man, that's a tough one to take on the full count, okay. but I guess he saw it really well. It's a really nice plate appearance. One gone runner at first. And up next for New York, Jose Trevino. Next offering is down low. Ball one. Jose Trevino singing a gold glover and a guy that really does a great job presenting the ball. Yeah, breakout year in 2022. Led all catchers with 21 defensive runs saved. Righty to the plate. That's inside. And it's two and two. And Boog, the Yankees had been looking for some stability behind the plate for a while. And move over to first, trying to keep it close. Knocks that one away, and we'll do it again. Next pitch inside, full count, three and two. Ground ball could be two. Slings to second, on to first, double play, and that's the inning. So they make short work of them there. On to the top of the fifth we go. Yankees three, and the Phillies nothing. Here at New Yankee Stadium in the Bronx. Ready now for the fifth inning. And now Kyle Schwarber. And a pitch. That's in there. Oh one the count. And ball one. Here's a one-one. Now a high fly ball out to left center. And there's one down. And now for the Phillies, Josh Harrison. 0 for 1 so far. And 
And first offering is fouled off. The pitch. Jack swing. He went. And it's 0-2. Line of the pitch. Foul ball. It stays nothing in two. And there's a the ball. Got him swinging. Gassed it right by him. Well, that's a blue zone right there or the cold zone on the hitting chart. Just doesn't have much success in that part of the strike zone. And a really good job of the pitcher executing. Try to go there as often as you can. The numbers are in your favor. And that one handled. Tosses to first. Turner is out. And that is that. Phillies down in order. Still down yes. three nothing. No if ends of maybe. Don't let drama phase me. See on my grind heavy for my babies. Life has Back now in the Bronx, John Chabby with my buddy Chris Singleton. It's set to get us started. Bottom five. Isaiah Kiner Falefa. And the pitch. Foul ball there. Now the 0-1. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Hoskins moves under it, reaches into the stands. He got it. Now it's LeMayhew up to hit. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Chris DJ LeMayhew, given name David John LeMayhew. Some people call him by the nickname The Big Fundy. What's the big fundy, partner? Well, it's short for the big fundamental because he's so good fundamentally, both oh. at the plate and in the field. Pitch misses there, and it's two and one. Swing and a miss. Looked off balance that time. Pretty impressive. We haven't seen that pitch from him much, but he's got a really good feel when he throws it. In the air to left center. Schwarber settles under it. And there are two outs. The right fielder, number 99. It's Aaron Judge now. Lots of pop at the plate. Outfield playing back almost on the warning track. Chris, how about the pressure for Judge chasing Maris's mark when you get to a place in the year that you're either homering or your at-bat was a failure? The why to kick the pitch. And it's oh, even up. <laughs> Just difficult. I mean, and this is such a team player type of person and Aaron Judge. It's interesting just the dynamic of him having the opportunity to tie and break that record, but also being so focused on getting the W for his club because nothing matters more in New York than a World Series championship. Next offering misses, ball three. This is important. If he can go one, two, three here, it will be a very positive sign for him and for his team. And Judge spoils that one. And a pitch. Foul ball, and it remains a full count. The 3-2. 
three two is off the outside edge and that is ball four now a great back and forth and that at no, bat no. he had to lay off some no, really no. close pitches and somehow though he found a way to keep the bat on his shoulder right there i'll tell you right now i couldn't have done it and first offering is fouled off Pitch. Now one and one. Bullpen activity starting up now. Andrew Bellotti up and throwing. Soto, the power lefty, up as well. Judge off of first with two away. The next pitch misses, and it's two and one. They say you win. <laughs> Check on the runner, and he's no, back he in easily. And the right hander deals. Bows it back with two strikes. And he deals. And a swing and a miss. Down on strikes. And that is that. One left for the Yankees. But they're on top by a count of three to nothing. at Yankee Stadium, top six. Here's the third baseman, Alec Bohm. Come on, Yankees! Cortez, back to work. And first offering is fouled off. And a weak ground ball to the left side. Throw on to Rizzo. One up, one down. Well, he's doing a nice job of keeping the ball out of the air. Let's the defense work behind him with another ground ball. Good execution. So digging in now for Philadelphia, Brandon Jordan. Maybe expecting a punt here. Third baseman playing in on the edge of the grass. That one's in there, 0-1. And delivers outside. Looking to get something going. This is the guy you want at the plate. He's been great for this team. He is a professional hitter. Going to count one and two. One ball, two straight. Gets a piece there. We'll do it again. The one two. Jordan checks his swing. Now it appealed to first. Didn't go. Next offering in the dirt. And that's ball three. And he walked him. What a battle. It's not always easy laying off a 3-2 pitch, and I tell you what, he earned that walk. Here's Bryce Harper. Now, these guys definitely looking for a big swing of the bat right here. Try to close that gap, but, you know, at the very least, if you could find... Run around the move. Strike in there. Throw to second. Great jump. One out and a runner at second. Pickoff throw. Oh, they got him leaning. He's out. And a pitch. 
On the ground right side. Gathers and throws to first. Third out. Offense held in check there. We go to the bottom half of inning number six. And the five, six, seven slots do up. Yankees three and the Phillies nothing. They hand the ball over to a new arm, Gregory Soto. And he comes on here for the first time this season, and I'm sure there's some nerves involved in that, so we'll see how he settles in. And stepping in for the Yankees, Anthony Rizzo. Really good piece of hitting last time, going to the opposite field. With Anthony Rizzo, you almost forget he was originally drafted by the Red Sox. He debuted with the Padres, won that championship with the Cubs, and now a Yankee. Yeah, and I think one of the telltale signs early with him in terms of the guy that would have that intestinal fortitude is just the fact that he beat cancer. Oh, that got away from him. And he's going to reach on a hit-by-pitch to lead off the inning. Well, anytime one of your guys gets drilled, it catches everyone's attention in the dugout, and you know what? It kind of gets you fired up. Rolled softly, but that goes foul. Soto, 28 years old, and he was born in the Dominican Republic. Ripped on a line, drops into the glove, and there's one down. It was all over that fastball right there. I tell you what, if he gets under it just by a fraction of an inch or a little bit more, that's way back. Bat at first, now the left fielder, Oswaldo Cabrera, the switch hitter batting right. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Where do you even begin with the talent we've seen from the Dominican Republic? Vladi, Big Poppy, Pedro, the list goes on and on. The pitch. Back outside. Rizzo leads off first with one away. The 2-0 is in for a strike. Good eye in that spot. Three balls, one strike. Runner takes off. Now front pulls that one foul. Now it's three and two. And here it comes. The 3 2 is off the outside edge, and that is ball four. Now back. The center field. Harrison. So digging in, Harrison Bader. He launched a solo shot back in the second inning of this one. Yeah, that was big for these guys early on. Definitely helped them get off on the right foot. Bader, 28 years old, and he's a former National League Gold Glover. Just get the bases. The pitch. Way inside, gets out of the way. Runners at first and second with one gone. Next pitch misses, and the count is even two and two. Bounce to the right side, and it finds its way through for a hit. And they stop him at third, so base is loaded with one away. One down, Jose Trevino stepping in now for the Yankees. In there for strike one. Trevino goes five feet, 11 inches, 210 pounds, and they went out and made a trade for him last season. 
And now the lefty. And strike two. One out, base is full. And he'll two. And downstairs. And down on strikes he goes. Huge strikeout there. Just indecisive in that at bat. He couldn't commit to the slider. Tried to sit in between. Just not able to put the bat on the ball. Back to the top of the Yankee order. Here's the Yankees leadoff hitter, Isaiah Kiner Falefa. pitch and he just misses well he's so good about trying to drive the ball to the opposite field gap in these situations if he takes that approach he could bust this game wide open next offering is in for a strike base is loaded two down and here's a slow roller Turner collects it fires the first on the run that's the third out. And the Yankees leave them loaded, but they lead it 3 nothing. Welcome back. And the batter now is Reese Hoskins. The pitch. That one finds the zone. Strike one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Clay Holmes getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Efros warming up as well. Here comes a pitch. Hey. That one misses ball. the zone, and it's one and two. That's down and in. Next pitch is outside. Now in this three ball count, down in the ball game, you've got to be very selective. Take your walk if they'll give it to you. That one ripped. Pulls up and that's in there for a knock. He was all over that one. That's a good sound coming off the bat, man. And as he connected out front and lifted into the outfield, that's one of those swings where you just don't even feel the ball hit the barrel. That's a poor stroke. Now, Nick Castellanos. In there, and it's 0-1. And a pitch. On the ground to first. Could be two. Over to Connor Falefa. To first, but it pulls him off the bag. Well, they had the chance to turn in two right there, but I don't think he got a good grip on the ball as he tried to transfer from glove to throwing hand. They say you can't assume a double play. I beg to differ at the big league level, but it's going to be ruled as a fielder's choice. And up to the plate is JT Real Muto, one for two. This is a guy who is very highly regarded defensively. Fun to watch him control stuff behind the plate good game caller good at framing but it's that big arm that really stands out first offering misses badly for ball one you come into the game knowing that unless the ball's in the dirt or gets by him we're probably not going to steal anything today so that's where you want to get a little more aggressive on your secondary lead and hope that some base hits some slogs some home runs can come into play the pitch and a strike well I'll say this as a former position player and base stealer when you come into a game and you've got a guy like this behind the dish with a big arm 
you really have to change your approach. You can't try to steal because you'll get thrown out. Maybe get a little bigger lead, be aggressive on the secondary, but this type of guy shuts the running game down. Trevino makes the grab. Two away. Good hard fastball up in the zone right there. They look really good coming in, but so hard to get on top of as a hitter. Kyle Schwarber comes up to hit here. in there for strike one just one out away from seven strong innings and just at a hundred pitches man pretty impressive they've got to be happy with what they've gotten from him out there today and the next pitch is way outside no oh, he's really working him away this at bat sometimes take a little bit off velocity try to get a rollover something on the ground stay away from that big hole on the right side of the infield next offering is in for a strike Castellanos leads off first with two down to the inning. That's towards center. Bader makes the catch, and that'll do it. We're back in a new pitcher here to start the bottom of the seventh. Andrew Bellotti. Just trying to keep this one close here, and this is where a bullpen can give their guys a chance to fight back into the game. DJ LeMayhew to start it off for the fourth time tonight. Third baseman. LeMayhew. And he deals. Ball one there. Kicks and deals. Ball inside. There are now two balls and a strike. Next pitch has popped up. Hoskins getting an angle on it. And puts the squeeze on that one. And there's one away. The right fielder, number 99. Aaron. Aaron Judge at the plate. Outfield playing very deep, not wanting anything over their heads. First pitch, and that's in for a strike. Well, the bat can be a little bit of a dance. Strike one here, but a few more pitches. We'll see how it turns out. Come on, New York. And the righty deals. And now oh, it's sorry, even up. Cool. Swing and a miss Football. as he was out front that time. and miss struck him out and there's two down well that's the money maker right there two strikes slider down and away from the same side throw as the hitter I mean that's just tall you're looking to protect with two strikes and very difficult to lay off Stan stands in here leaves that one off the inside Next offering misses, and it's 2-0. Oh. And there's the strike. hit left side and that one finds its way through and that keeps the inning alive 
now batting first baseman. Anthony Rizzo stepping in now for the Yankees. First offering misses the mark. Kicks and fires. Check swing, went around, and the count is one and one. Swing and a miss. And a base hit into right center field. Lead runner makes the turn at second. And now they'll have runners on the corners with two away. Having himself a really nice game at the plate. Off the bat, it was headed for the gap all the way. And as a hitter, you will see those as you take your first couple of steps out of the box. You know you've got some real estate to run on. It's such a good feeling. Nice liner into the gap right there. In the box now as he leaves that one up high. Stanton at third. Rizzo at first. Two out of the inning. On the ground. Throw is low and he can't pick it. down in the game and not just by a couple and then that error allows a run to score and this is where things can really start to fall apart as a team they need to pick themselves up find a way to play better baseball the rest of the way first and second two down Oswaldo Cabrera the next to hit and he swings and misses and it's nothing in one outside first and second two down next offering is in for a strike at the belt and fires and a foul ball he stays alive a one-two. Foul ball left side. He'll see another. Got him looking. Good job at damage control right there. Two men left stranded, but they do push across one. Eighth inning coming up. The Yankees four and the Phillies nothing. We go to the eighth. Now it's the second baseman, Josh Harrison. The wind of the pitch. And first offering is fouled off. there. 0-2 fastball way out of the zone. I think he's trying to speed him up. Got to stay back. Off speed's probably coming. The wind and the pitch. Makes the catch and there's one gone. <laughs> Trying 
Trey Turner down. First pitch just misses. Just missed. Next one misses, and now 3 0. to kick the pitch fouled off left side spoils the two strike pitch and he'll see another and now the lefty Goes down looking. That's just a nasty pitch right there. I'm not surprised at all that he had the strikeout looking. You know, the plate looks like it's a fastball off the corner the entire way until just that very last second when that cutting action takes over and brings it back to clip the outside corner. You just got to tip the gap sometimes, but overall, that's just a nasty pitch. And now, Alec Bohm. Light drive. Knocks it down. And he beats it. He's safe. Did a nice job getting there. Good throw, but very difficult to get anybody on that one as far as you had to go and throw. You know? Yeah, no question. Here comes the skipper out of the dugout, and he's ready to make the move. Nestor Cortez Jr. will depart. Great effort out of him as he exits in line for the win. We'll tell you about the new pitcher when we get back. Number 97 takes over on the mound, and he's got a nice lead to work with, so he should come in throwing strikes, attacking these hitters. So, man aboard, Brandon Jordan stands in for the Phillies. Outfield deep here, trying to prevent anything over their heads. Pitch misses inside, and it's 1-0. And that's outside. Next pitch misses way outside. Boom. The runner at first with two gone. The right-hander gives up the two-out walk. Well, this could be the start of something. They haven't found a way to score yet, but now's their chance to change that. Here's Harper now. First pitch doesn't find the zone. Movement in the Yankees' pen. Michael King getting loose out there for Aaron Boone. Loisica, the hard-throwing right-hander, up as well. Next pitch off the play. Ball two. Tough spot right here. A couple runners on. Two ball count. You can't nibble, but you have to execute and finish your pitch. If you leave something out over the plate, it's going to bring in some runs. 2-0. And that misses upstairs now, 3-0. and oh. 
Let's see if he gives him anything to hit here. Swing and a pop up in foul ground. Brings it in for the third out. Phillies leave a couple. They trail it here for nothing. Here's the new pitcher for the Phillies, Craig Kimbrell. This is his first appearance of the season. Craig Kimbrell. And stepping in for the Yankees, Harrison Bader. He's already homered in this game. The pitch. That's off the mark. 1 and 0. 1 and 0. Righty to the plate. Hey. And that's outside. up foul territory behind the plate and Bader is set down one down that was a good pitch to hit right down the heart of the plate had pretty good timing on it just got underneath it a little bit and popped it up and next for New York Jose Trevino First offering is fouled off. That's ripped. Base hit. So the one out hit turns the lineup over. Everything came together perfectly for him right there. When you can turn a ball around at 107 off the bat, it's going to make you feel really good inside. If he elevates that a little bit more, it's definitely out of here. Isaiah Kiner Falefa stepping in now for the Yankees. And that one fouled off. Right-handed reliever, strike two. Swing and a miss, struck him out. Just overmatched on that fastball right there, and it wasn't like he was set up for it by something off speed earlier in the at-bat. Just came right after him with three straight, and he had no answer for it. First offering is fouled off. Trevino off of first with two away. And a pop-up right side, foul territory. Brings it in, and that will end the inning. The Yanks leave one, but they lead it four to nothing. in New York. All set to start the ninth in this one. And digging in for Philadelphia, Reese Hoskins. Yeah, the right hater back to work. And the pitch a little bit low. Ball one. Activity in the bullpen for the Yankees. Wandy Peralta getting loose out there for Aaron Boone.
the 1 0. Swing and a foul back. That's out of play. Right hander kicks, deals. Oh, that's off the plate. That misses the zone. Three balls and a strike. He really committed to that fastball up at the top of the zone. He knows that if he makes a mistake in the zone, it gets hit hard by a power guy like this. That's a nice miss right there. Payoff pitch. Keeps the at bat going with a foul ball. And the right hander deals. Foul. We'll see another payoff pitch. Righty delivers. That one misses. So a lead off walk. Pretty good spot on the outside, but just couldn't quite clip the zone. That's a stone cold take. Here's the Phillies DH, Nick Castellanos. One for three. Well, the leadoff man gets on, you want to minimize the threat by playing sound defense. Hopefully the pitcher can get a ball on the ground and they can roll him up for two. And the pitch. And fouled off. Nobody out. Runner at first. And that one hammered Cabrera. Ranging back, looking up, hits the fence. He's in with a double, and that's his second double of the night. Two hits for him in this one, both for extra bases. Got to feel good about that. Just missed out on a home run right there, but he certainly hit it hard enough. Just didn't have the right launch angle to carry it over the wall, but still an excellent swing of the bat. Out of the bullpen for the Yankees, Michael King. He has a great slider with tons of movement. And now it is JT Real Muto, a guy who makes an impact not just at the plate, but also in the field. And the first pitch misses for ball one. Kicks and deals. And now two and nothing as that one missed below the knees. Just missed. And a four pitch walk. Maybe a little loss of focus on the mound right there. Pretty much gifted him first base with a quick free pass. Kyle Schwarber stands in for the Phillies. King, in his fourth year, he features a sinker, a slider, a four-seamer, and he works in a changeup. offering is down low all loaded up dangerous hitter at the plate Brooke, in situations like these the air can get really thin up there at the plate got to find a way to breathe and slow everything down and a swing and a miss there Pretty good pitch there to take a rip at. He wants to get his arms extended. He likes the ball away from him a little bit, just not able to square it up. The tying run at the plate. Good eye right there. Recognize that changeup right out of the hand. Just spit on it. 
Ball four, and a run comes in to score. Well, a breaking ball in that 3-2 count kind of tells you that that's the pitch he has the most confidence in right now. Just couldn't find the strike zone. Bases loaded, nobody out. Josh Harrison stands in for the Phillies. In there for strike one. Everyone here understands just how quickly things could change. And a pitch. And the slider just misses. And I think ultimately you want to tie him up, get the ball in on the plate so that he can't get the barrel to it and hit it to the outfield. Next pitch is outside. There's the strength. Is there a little wrinkle to that? I think there was. Yeah. A little slider action. on the double play. It's always great when you can add a run, but in this situation with the bases loaded, double play is kind of a rally killer. So the lineup flips over. Trey Turner with a chance now. He's turned into one of the best shortstops in the game. In there, and it's 0-1. The pitch. On the ground, right side. Torres handles. Throw to first. Ball game. And the Yankees take the series opener here at home. Well, they win the opener at home. First game of the three-game series, and there's just such a good feeling. When you're in your own ballpark. You're sleeping in your own bed. You're eating your clubhouse manager's food. Everything's right in your world, and they played like it today. And your final 4-2 for Chris Singleton and our entire outstanding crew here at MLB The Show. I'm John Shelby. Thanks for joining us.